Okay, so <clears throat> we have an inequality here, and you'll notice it's got fractions in it, but we've dealt with those things before. I'm going to rewrite it a little bit um, so I have a little more room. Because what I want to do is I want to multiply by the LCD. So I look at the denominators, 4 and 3, and think the LCD is 12. That means I'm going to be multiplying by 12. I'm going to be multiplying by 12. And I'm going to be multiplying by 12. Okay, that will clear the fractions, and then I'll have integers, and I'll like, like it better. Okay, so... I'm going to say 4 goes into 12 three times, 3 goes into 12 four times, and 4 goes into 12 three times. Okay, so I'm going to have 3 times x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 4 times x minus 2 plus 3 times 1. Okay, so now I need to do the distributing and things like that. So I get 3x plus 9 is greater than or equal to 4x minus 8 plus 3. Check my distributing. Okay, uh, I can simplify on the right, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and subtract the 4x at the same time. Save myself a little bit of work here. Negative 1x plus 9, greater than or equal to, now what's negative 8 plus 3? Negative 5. <clears throat> okay, subtract 9. So I'm getting negative 1x is greater than or equal to negative 14. Divide by negative 1. Okay, now I have to remember I'm dividing by a negative, so that's going to make it x is less than or equal to positive 14. So you still do the work there. A negative divided by a negative is positive. Okay, but the inequality switched directions. Okay, if I want to see a graph, here's 0. Here's 14, and we're going to say less than or equal to, whoops, less than or equal to 14. All right, how do we write it in interval notation? We go from left to right, from negative infinity up to 14 with a square bracket, and that is how we do that problem.